Ooh, yeah, it is a little cold here in Minnesota. Welcome back, everyone. This is Stevio, and we are back on the Millennial Farmer map here in Minnesota. We are cold. It is a cold morning. Today, Zach wants us to help him out, and we have a special trip we're going to take later on today. It is that time of the year. It is harvest time, and I don't even have a harvester yet. Zach is really trying to talk me into his 9870. I don't know, though. I think it's a little bit too much, and I'd hate to uh, give him a low bowl offer and then kind of offend him. So I'm trying to change the subject every time. What do we drive? The AT4? or the new Duramax. You guys probably haven't seen this new Duramax. This thing is a workhorse. I just wanted a work truck that could take it all, take the beating, the dirty Max can get it done. You just gotta change the oil a lot because it's always dirty. All right, no messing around. Let's get over to Zach's. Oh, I think I forgot to feed Buck. There you go, Buck. I still gotta change your name on your house there. All right. Let's get over here. If you could tell here, all that corn is golden. Everything is just about ready to go. Who is driving around Zach's uh, field here? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I love how this thing sounds. So strong. Zach here. Uh, Becky's here. Uh, I'm not seeing anybody. I guess, uh, man, this place looks empty. Huh. Alright. Ooh, yep. Zach said he might be tearing apart his planter. He doesn't know when, though. Yeah, this planter he wants to upgrade. He got kind of spoiled, if you remember, with the speed planter. So now he wants to upgrade his, uh, whole planter up and uh if you know he's kind of a big deal so i'm sure he got a great price on the whole thing anyways oh here he comes okay oh zach got him a gooseneck huh all right so zach i i guess he wants to uh, start running through his harvesters and he really i think he's tr really trying to get me to purchase his uh 9870. Uh, I keep on trying to change the subject. Uh, sorry, I don't think I can afford it, Zach. I just can't. So this is why Zach wants to, uh, me to buy his 9870, or he's trying to get rid of it, is because Zach kind of upgraded. If you know, this is not no X9. Uh, yeah, uh, Zach doesn't really buy anything new. I don't I don't know how much he really buys new other than his trucks. He's a good businessman. You just don't buy new, especially how uh, up and down the market is nowadays. So he did get a very nice a 780 here. Have you seen the sticker prices on the X9s? Yeah, they're a little overdone. So he wants to go over the head, just kind of run through this thing get this thing started up. Look at them big fatties on here. Ooh. Yeah, that is some tire there. Okay. Around here. Ooh, this is gonna be a tight fit out of here. Out of the door. Okay go this harvester out of here so the planter can go in I've always kind of enjoyed moving around the big equipment you know packing them into the buildings and everything oh, the road graders coming down this road it looks like huh. no road grader comes down my road guess uh, Zach is a bigger deal than me okay this guy is even uh Rogue grading his uh, farmyard here. Okay. It's kind of hard to uh, rogue grade going backwards, but I'll take his word for it. 
He's a professional. Okay, get that planter over. Yeah, I don't think we got it far enough. Zach isn't going to like that. He likes it. He likes it nice and tight. That's what she said. All right, let's get the big Bertha into the shop, and then uh, I guess Zach wants to take a trip. I don't know what he's talking about here. There we go. I guess that's as far as it's gonna go because that door just just isn't big enough there. All right, Zach says he wants us to follow. I guess there is some big event. So I didn't know about this. I'm a little bit new to the area. So there's always put on a event from the local John Deere dealer. They kind of uh, have a big sell off right before harvest time, just uh, to get everyone, make sure everyone's taken care of right before harvest. And, you know, when it, you, just before you start, you know, rolling in the dough, you know, they try to take some money from you. Into some, you might be going through your harvest equipment and something might break. You never know. Okay, Zach, you can wait for him. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna go around. I'll see you later, Zach. We are going here because I am in dire need of a harvester. And to, I've had my eye on a few other planters. I'm hoping they have them for sale here. Squeeze in right here. Here we go. Midwest Machinery is having their normal sell-off. I'm pretty sure this is Zach's head right here. So Midwest Machinery, they sell everything. They sell some of their service trucks. They sell, uh, they even have some of their employees sell their trucks. We have about everything you can possibly think of. We even got the red stuff. Yes, 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 Zach. That is farm equipment, and that's kind of one of the things I'm interested in. It looks like Midwest Machinery's got, uh, one of their service trucks here for sale. Dodge. Cummins Pretty clean nice interior Hmm Yeah, if I wouldn't have the dirty max, maybe I would be interested. Oh My goodness Now that is a Ford Wow, I like he it's got a uh, service bed on the back welder Miller welder it's got a, a little uh, hoist on the back, a crane hoist. Oh man, look at everything. It's even got a uh, fuel tank in there. Oh my goodness. Ooh, this is gonna be hard not to bid on. That is a good looking Ford there. So we looks like we got a Dodge Ram here. Uh, three quarter ton Cummins. Ooh, that is a good sounding truck there. Hmm, check out under the hood. Whoever is selling this truck definitely could, kept it clean. Look at this Case IH here. A loader on there? That is one high stretching loader. Whew. And is that girl go up high? A good looking loader for this uh, case here. Ooh, I wonder if, if Zach's gonna bid on this. I know he's had his eye on one of these. Well, that is a clean uh, quad track there. Road track, if you want to call it. I wish I had a lot of money. I'm not a big deal like Zach is, so I don't know. I don't think I can uh, afford that. Look at this Dirty Max here. Love the hood. Good looking hood all the way from New York. It's a dually too. Look at the LEDs around. Got bed lights. Got front LEDs to blind somebody when they don't turn off their brights. Look at all this beautiful farm equipment here. Now this is why I was so interested in coming. is because they got some TRs here. 
if you know me, I don't have a lot of ton of money. No, I can't afford Cool the Corn Stars uh, Harvester to over there. I don't have that much money. But these TRs might just be in, t in my bracket here. This is uh, the big brother. So we got the TR95 uh, eight row head here. It's like, uh, is this not hydrostatic? I guess, yeah, maybe it is. It definitely has a lot of gears to shift through. Uh, I think I can get it for a fairly good price. That's that's my main and ultimate goal. And, you know, you see a lot of these still in action nowadays, so I'm pretty sure they got to be good running harvesters. I, I would like something a little bit bigger than a 6 row, a 9420RX, huh? It's a little beat up. This uh, kind of reminds me of Larson Farms here. Got the road tracks on it. Got everything. Man, I wish I could put side tanks. This would be nice if you could put some uh, side straddle tanks on this thing, just like they did. Make one heck of a high-speed planting machine. What is this thing? Well, I said they have a lot of stuff here. What the exactly heck is this thing? It works. It's one of the most unique double motor tractors I've seen around. Got two three point hitches, PTO in front and back. It is uh, definitely farm made, if I have to say. Look at how high that loader goes. Man, oh, the cow, look how wide them tires are. Starts up nice. Man, are them tires wide. That looks almost like a Zach 780 there. Look at that John Deere payloader. It's a 60 a 44k there. Good looking payloader. Here's a uh, 9230 with a folding corn head. I don't know. Has Cole has they gotten their folding corn head? I can't remember. I know they're looking pretty hard for 12 row folding corn head. There's a case one right there for you. Now look at this big bud. Got some wear and tear on it, but man, that Cummins diesel power is one good looking motor there. Whew. Man, I would love to have the money to afford one of these beautiful things. Zach is eyeing this thing right here this 9r right here zach has been eyeing this and i'm pretty sure this is the only reason why he came because this thing he is pretty serious about buying this i never thought he would go back to tires them or what 900s maybe 800s they are pretty big tires they should say here but anyways them are some big burf tires so you're, you're still gonna have a lot of traction. This thing could probably still get it done. Good looking tractor, save a little money on uh, tracks, especially uh, 9RX. That's probably some serious dough. Now this is what I'm really interested in. This TR96 here. Oh yeah. Oh, listen to that power. <laughs> More power. Ooh, yeah. The only thing bad about these things is it sure does have a little auger on here. Yep, that's one of the painful things about driving these, but let's let's just face it, sometimes you kinda got to uh live with some uh, difficulties. Of course they made everything better while they made newer stuff so they could keep selling them. I really like the looks of these uh, TRs here. The good looking harvester. Very clean. Look how clean that is. I am definitely gonna watch this sell. Now this planter is nice. This case precision style planter here. Early riser. 2150. Hmm. I I think that planter is gonna go for way too much money. Both of these planters 
are used. We got a uh, CVT here, Magnum 340. It's like Cole the Corn Star Day here, except we don't have his uh, tires on this. Now this, this 2150 is, uh, I think, going to be more my Pice range. Now I know this is a really nice planter for my operation. Uh, if you remember last time we planted, Zach gave me a lot of uh, slack because of the size of my planter. I think planting is one of the most important items on your farm. If you don't have a good seed bed, if you don't have good seed placement, uh, all that extremely matters. It gives you a better yield. The, more, the better style planter you can afford, the better you're going to be. Now, a center fill planter like that, I don't know if I can afford that, but I might just have to uh, tough it out and use these uh, row fill uh, boxes here because uh, I don't want to pay the price of that thing because that's probably going to be over my price range. I guess I'm going to have to do some custom planting too to pay this off. Man, there is a lot of items I wouldn't mind having one of them is definitely that Ford right there. I got to at least try to get one of these harvesters because otherwise I'm going to have to lease a harvester for this corn or uh, beg Zach to uh, custom harvest mine. But thank you all for watching and I will see you later over here in Minnesota. What? Zach, are you kidding me? This ain't gonna work. Don't forget, like the video. Leave a comment too, I enjoy reading them. Later, y'all.